Greetings and salutations, vault dwellers and wastelanders. My name is Oscapt. And I'm Noodle Pan. And we just, just got an update from Bethesda on some new stuff rolling out on the PTS, which oh. means we're gonna see it in the real world soon enough. Wendy, Wendy's finally here. Oh, I've been waiting for Wendy for such a long time. That's right. Wendy is finally here and she's cooler than I thought she would be. I always knew she was gonna be cool. She's a cryptid hunter. So we got a little bit of backstory for her. She's the thrill-seeking daughter of Julia Park, and she grew up obsessed with the stories and interviews that her mother wrote for the Cryptid Hunter monthly newsletter. She sounds a little bit like Luna. She does, yes. Now she wants to take that passion for cryptids and bring it to milepost zero. All you need to do is recruit her. Once recruited, Wendy will provide you with the cryptid bait for a trial run of her cryptid summoning concoction. When using Wendy's bait, it will guarantee that the cryptid you're trying to summon will appear during your next caravan run. Nice. Yes, we, we do sometimes get cryptids, but it's completely random. Seems to me like some of the cryptid runs reliably have the Blue Devil and the Ogua at the end. Those two are always together, they're buds. But Mothman. I've never seen a Mothman in a caravan. That would be pretty cool. I think this would be neat to summon the cryptids if we want to try and get video footage of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can get a video footage of all of them. And if but the coolest thing is that once you get Wendy unlocked and settled in and you start running errands for her, you can purchase things from her. Really cool things. The coolest things that the caravans have to offer, like the Deathclaw head backpack and that really awesome cryptid outfit that I have my eye on. The one that looks like a Brazilian jiu-jitsu gi? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Now, a surprise from Bethesda is that once you've hired and upgraded all of the base NPCs at Milepost Zero, you can then hire Collector Murmurg. We have never heard anything about this before. It was not in the release. It was only going to be Wendy. We were all waiting on Wendy. This is a complete surprise to everyone. So Murmurg does not require any additional upgrades and he, she, it, they, them, pixel, star, fluffy fluff, whatever, will offer mystery boxes. Okay. Mystery boxes. I'm sure that there are lots of people out there who offer mystery boxes in exchange for supplies. <laughs> this is not special, Bethesda. But these mystery boxes will not contain diseases. They will contain rewards that range from Radex, stim packs, legendary weapons and armor, to legendary script, treasury notes, and even outfits. But wait, wait, isn't Murmur the... The mole lady down at the Rusty Pig. That's, Isn't that Murmur? That's Purveyor Murmur. I thought Murmur was a name. I bet one of the lore connected people will tell us about what Murmur means in the mole miner community, and maybe it's just a, a, a name or a title. Wow, I thought it was her name. I thought she was like Lady Murmur. Now, what I don't like about this is that these are mystery boxes. So you're going to spend your supplies and you might get a stim pack. You're gonna spend your supplies and you might get some legendary script or weapons, but you know that they're gonna stack it in such a way that you're usually gonna get a stim pack, which makes this entire thing a slot machine. And I don't like that. You live in Vegas, what are you complaining about? I live in North Las Vegas, that's different. So while yes, interesting that maybe you might get something if you have nothing else to spend your supplies on, but that's kind of like saying if you have nothing else to spend your money on, just go put it in a slot machine. I'm confused by why they're bringing in Collect the Murmur. I am intrigued, of course, but it's almost like they were so late with Wendy, they threw in this extra gift, <laughs> like a consolation gift. I think it's because people have been pretty vocal about the fact that once you get everybody upgraded, there's no more reason to run caravans because there's nothing to spend your supplies on. That's true. That's true. So they're giving you a slot machine. Spend 500 supplies. So spend 1,200 caps to run a large caravan to get some supplies that you can trade for a stim pack. Sounds like a great deal. Sounds like Bethesda being like, no, no, no. I swear to God, we don't think you're stupid. Sounds like they had another pitch meeting that we missed. Yeah. Some other stuff rolling out. We've got a tutorial for player titles. The first time you try to use one of these prefix suffix things uh, and oh, you get to earn your player titles. Oh, okay. okay. That makes it more like a badge. Yeah, it makes it like a trophy. That's a little bit better. Yeah. And there's some updated art. And then it looks like the rest of these things are just some stuff that they've been fixing that are bugs or some things that they've been creating that are also bugs. Well, we simply wanted to jump right in and tell you about the fact that Wendy and Collector Murmur are finally coming. Yeah, I can't wait. I will save all of my supplies to unlock Wendy and all of her goodies. 
and more Merg. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Oscap. And I'm Noodle Pants. And until next time, stay safe out there, vault dwellers. Mer. 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 <laughs>